Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So, so before getting into this video, I want to show you that. Uh, so here, uh, many people who are viewing this video are students, and it may be your semester subject. So as a student offer, I am giving the practice hundred plus practice MCQs regarding database management systems so who are writing this it will be a good practice for them i hope so for them students i'm giving for just 89 rupees guys so i have already made a part one video of that so you can see here so you can see here i have also made exam preparation database management system part one video so it is only for members it is only for members and guys only or uh, not only this course uh, for just 89 rupees you can get access to all these courses not only these uh, what we are seeing many courses see here cloud computing internet of things many courses you can get for just that 89 rupees only no extra cost so who want to prepare better for the dbms exam preparation for final exam so you can choose this pack so in order to ac get access to this just go to our channel page like this I will also provide the link in the description so just click on that go to join button here beside the subscribe button there is join button right here so you can click on the join button so you can get three types of packs here if you want live videos if I upload any you can get access through 119 pack or if you want only recorded videos you can uh, go to 89 per month pack select click on that and click on join button and make payment that's it you will become member of our channel guys for 119 pack you can get all the benefits of 59 and 89 also combinedly if we want only recorded videos you can just choose 89 pack any of these two is enough to get you access for dbms pack so guys uh, exam date is fast approaching so don't waste your time and please join fast to get access to the preparation videos so hope you take good decision and join in as fast as possible and if you have any doubts regarding this uh, membership you can ask me in the comment section guys if it is your semester subject please try to join your classmates also because it will be combined helpful for you so try to recommend this uh, membership to many many of your classmates and friends so already many people have joined here are the top eight members so actually many people have joined in this so I hope you join in this uh, membership and get better practice ahead of the final exam I hope. So you can get that just for 89 rupees as a student offer. There are 100 plus practice MCQs guys. You cannot find uh, these NPTEL oriented MCQs outside. So no one is providing that. Only our channel is providing for just 89 rupees for dbms and also some other courses so if you want any other course uh, rather than this you can ask me in the comment section so let's see the solutions now so this is week 7 assignment of dbms so guys these are my probable solutions if you feel uh, if you find any uh, change in the solutions you can uh, give your solution in the comment section so let's see the first question now So here consider the following schedule as of transactions t1 and t2 the read operation on data item a is denoted by read of a and write operation denoted by write of a so they have given the transaction tables so they are asking which of the following is true about the schedule s so for first question the probable answer is option A. Yes is serializable both as T1, comma T2 and T2, comma T1. So mark first option. So let's move on to the second one now. So second question. Consider the following schedule S involving six transactions t1 t2 
T3, T4, T5 and T6. So Rx denotes read operation on data item X by transaction Ti. Wx denotes write operations for that similar one. So they are asking choose the correct option for the above transaction schedule. So for second question the probable solution is option C. The schedule is both view and conflict serializable schedule. So this is the probable solution for second question. So mark option C. So let's move on to the third question now. So in the third question, consider the schedule S. It involves four transactions T1 to T4. So identify the possible number of conflict serializable schedules. Conflict serial serializable schedules of the above schedule S. So for third question, the probable answer is option A, 1. So mark first option. And let's move on to the fourth one now. So fourth question, consider the following schedule S. So they are asking, identify the possible number of view serializable schedule of the above schedule s so for fourth question the probable answer is option four mean option d four so mark option d so let's move on to the fifth one fifth question suppose in a database there are four transactions T1 to T4. So transaction T1 is waiting for transactions T2 and T4. T1 is waiting for T2 and T4. And T2 is waiting for T3 and T4. T2 is waiting for T3 and T4. And T3 is waiting for T4. So these three are the given situations. So they are asking to identify the correct wait for graph for the above scenario. So for fifth question, the probable wait for graph is second one. Option B. Option B. So mark option B. So let's move on to the sixth question now. <coughs> Consider two transactions given below where log X of A denotes TI has obtained an exclusive mode lock on item A. And log S of A denotes TA has obtained a shared mode lock. Here S means share mode. Here X means exclusive mode. So lock on item A. So they are asking which of the following statement is or are true. So for sixth question, probable answer is option C. <coughs> Only T1 follows the rigorous two phase locking protocol. So mark option C. So let's move on to the seventh one. Seventh question. So suppose in a database there are three transactions with timestamp 12, 14 and 16 respectively. T1 is holding a data item with which 21 and 23 are requesting to acquire. Which of the following statement is or are correct in respect of own weight? deadlock prevention scheme own weight deadlock prevention scheme so for seventh questions there are two probable solutions guys here the first one is option a transaction t2 will wait for t1 to release the data item and the other one is option b transaction t3 will wait for t1 
to release the data item. So mark A and B. So the eighth one next. So eighth question they are asking identify the correct statement based on the above schedule. Yes. So for eighth question the probable answer is fourth one. Option D. If T1 fails that means if uh, T1 aborted or stopped neither T2 nor T3 must be rolled back. So mark option D. So let's move on to the ninth question now. So in ninth question choose the correct options for the above schedule. So for above schedule the probable answer the true is true statement is option A. The schedule is only recoverable schedule. So mark option A as correct answer for ninth question. So let's move on to the final question of the assignment that is tenth one. Identify the correct option or options which is or are used in TCL transaction control language TCL. So for tenth question the probable answer is option D save point. So mark option D. So friends these are the solutions for week 7 assignment of database management system. Hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share this to your friends. Guys as I said above if you want to get access to the DBMS part 1 and part 2 videos uh, join join in our channel with just 18 in pack or 119 pack for live video if any upload any for just 18 in rupees you can get access to our channel exclusive preparation videos regarding various subjects for just single 18 in pack only per month so for you can get 100 plus practice mcqs which is completely nptl oriented for just 89 rupees as a student offer so hope you use this opportunity to the great extent and recommend this to your friends also and make them join in this so guys that's it if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section regarding this membership or details or these solutions so until the next video goodbye thank you